So we are interested in um, in, in understanding the uh, molecular mechanism of um, uh, acute leukemias, and especially acute lymphoblastic leukemia, with regards to uh, the child, the disease in childhood, but also uh, in the adult. And um, of course, uh, our interest is really geared towards. Uh, trying to find new avenues for uh, therapeutic approaches. Uh, and this is ultimately, that's what we want to, we want to make a difference at the end of the day to the patients. So in particular, uh, we have understanding uh, of uh, leukemic stem cells that came uh, in the last uh, decade. And uh, these are the cells that sustain the disease. And now we understand that uh, for treatment, uh, we aim to uh, really target, we, we, we want to target these cells. Um, and uh, we're, the, the community now is a, in a very good position to, to make um, um, progress in that issue. Um, there are, uh, of course, differences in childhood uh, leukemias and adult leukemias. Um, the first difference in, is in the type of leukemia. Childhood leukemias are lymphoblastic, acute lymphoblastic leukemias, whereas uh, in the adult it's mostly acute myeloblastic leukemias. And so the treatment, of course, is very different for the two types of leukemia, lymphoblastic or myeloblastic. Uh, the treatment, the protocols are very different. Um, but also, uh, even for um, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, the treatment of childhood leukemias uh, is more successful uh, than the treatment in adult lymphoblastic leukemia. One of the reasons is that it's not the same disease. It's a different disease. And, and that's what uh, we're trying to understand. Um, so uh, I have agreed to chair uh, the uh, Scientific and Medical Advisory Board of the Leukemia Lymphoma Society of Canada. Um, I think the society has a very important role uh, in supporting the scientific community at this time point. Uh, the reason is that uh, we are at a time when scientific discovery uh, can be very, um, uh, can make a big difference because, because of the general uh, setting of uh, knowledge right now and of technology and everything's around it. So we are at a critical time point where uh, one, one research project actually can make a big difference uh, to, uh, to the field, to the understanding of the disease, and uh, to eventually treat the disease. And so it's a very important time point right now for scientists. Uh, and the society has a very uh, important position at this time point, the reason being that uh, uh, the um, uh, funding, the general funding, is also undergoing um, major change. Uh, and um, this major change uh, is pos uh, probably required because of the evolution in the research uh, right now. Uh, but, um, of course, we don't know how this will um, reflect into uh, eventually the success uh, of uh, the research um, um, efforts um, in Canada. 